Hey, hello friends. Welcome to our channel, SAP SD and ABAP League Support. So in last two sessions, we discussed about the restrictions on flexible number ranges and uh, how to configure that flexible number ranges for sales documents. Uh, today we'll go through how to configure it for building documents. So there is no difference in flexible number ranges for sales documents as well as with billing documents both are same only let's see how we can configure that okay so we need to go to spro sales and distribution and uh, under billing node let's go to billing document so here you see that define number ranges prefix for sd documents so whatever we declared in case of a uh, sales document prefixes same follows here also if you want to have a different prefix for uh, billing documents go with new entries or uh, if you are going to use the same sequences whatever you used for the sales documents we can go ahead with that so as of now i am not getting anything let's go ahead with this only whatever we have here second one is that Again, we should define the number ranges, intervals for the prefix wise. Same thing what we did in our previous session, same thing only. So we need to configure that. So once that is done, we need to configure the We need to configure the configurable parameters and formulas in building. You see this option. Click this drop down, and you see the first one define parameter catalog entries for flexible building document numbering. Let's execute this one. So, the usage for sales document is S01, the usage for building document is B01, and for delivery is D01. So, B01, D01, and U01. So S01 and S02 for delivery date that we can discuss later. So SAP provided some set of fields here, the parameters based on which we can define the decision tables like billing type, document type, company code, sales or document category and tax departure country. Remember that as I mentioned in my previous video as well, the parameters should come from the header level only, header table. Either it might be in a sales document header, either it might be in a building document header. It should be header only. If you want to add new fields, means definitely click this new entries, add the custom field if you have, or if you want to go with that uh, standard field, whatever, however you can, you can add that. The next one is that define the formulas for flexible building document numbering. So here, we need to define the formula ID, right? With the description. Then under this formula ID, we should define the parameters. Like we could define that uh, what kind of parameters we need: sales document or sales uh, organization, billing type, whatever we need, we can define it here. Then let's uh, go to the formula task so in the formula task we have that usage task that is set number range this is same for sales document flexible number range as well as for delivery as well same only I select this one usage task set number range then go to assign parameter priority so under this uh, formula id usage task we should define the parameter name like SD document category, tax departure country. We can define the priority for this one, which is the top priority. Once that is done, then we should go to the define decision table. So here we should specify that uh, options like uh, do not consider are equal. Then add the tax departure country value. And uh, again, we have that option value, resident document category. Again, we have U. 
like this we should configure this parameters and remember this formula id that is sap underscore example underscore formula this formula id contains the parameters decision table values as well so now we should again go to that billing documents so go to the billing documents you see here one option assign custom routines to billing types so execute this one and select the required billing type and here you see one option flexible document number routine okay sorry not this one one second okay before going to assign the routine to the billing type level we should go to system adoption and here you see routines and we have an option called define custom routines for flexible building document numbering execute this one and here we need to get the new entries with the description again routine numbers should start with three okay let me tell you that it should always start with this number only okay 30 lakhs i think one two three four five six yeah 30 lakhs now then define description okay let me do that okay so let me add the description and select this one go to assign enhancement ids again click new entries here so here we have default number range for building right now we have two options here configurable configurable parameters and formulas select the second one and uh, if i scroll to right we have enhancement identifier so here we should add the formula whatever we observed in that configurable parameters right there we have defined this formula under this formula only we have the parameters decision table values save this what this is saved copy this routine number then go to the billing documents and here you see one second yeah here you see assign custom routines to billing types execute this one select the desired billing type and add the number range here simple then if you create the invoices the invoice will start the prefixes that you have configured for the respective billing types and sales or combinations as the parameter defined uh, that's it from this video friends we can catch up in the next video bye for now